breast milk is produced in the female mammary glands and serves as the newborn's main source of nourishment. The nutrient-rich liquid contains all the essential substances that babies need for healthy development and growth in the first few months of life. During pregnancy, estrogen and progesterone levels increase, which causes various changes in the breasts. The glandular tissue increases in volume and prepares for milk production. In addition, the breasts become more sensitive and better supplied with blood. Veins may become visible. The female body also begins to produce small amounts of colostrum. This is a yellowish liquid that is available to the baby immediately after birth. Compared to mature breast milk, colostrum is very rich in protein and contains little lactose. It is also characterized by a high concentration of anti-inflammatory substances and antibodies. The antibodies protect the newborn from infections. After birth, the high levels of estrogen and progesterone drop, and full milk production begins. While progesterone supports the development of the glands during pregnancy, it also blocks the prolactin receptors. The baby's sucking further stimulates and maintains milk production. This mechanical stimulation triggers the release of more prolactin, which binds to the receptors and stimulates the milk-producing cells in the glands. To better understand this process, let's take a closer look at the structure of the glandular tissue. Each breast contains about 10 to 20 lobes, made up of numerous alveoli. Once activated by prolactin, the milk-producing cells begin secreting fats, proteins, carbohydrates, and salts. Sucking also stimulates the release of oxytocin. Oxytocin causes the myoepithelial cells to contract, pushing the milk out. After about two weeks, mature breast milk is produced in a volume of 450 to 1200 milliliters. However, the exact quantity also depends on the stimulation of the breasts. The higher the demand, the more milk is produced.